Well, actually, I'm not sure that uh, we can qualify the world diplomacy around climate change as being top-down, because um, in some ways it has been imposed extraordinarily quickly to the uh, consciousness and interest of the nation state. So if you consider that the speed at which uh, people have absorbed and heads of state have absorbed the question of uh, climate, people always complain it's very slow. But in fact, <laughs> compared to other issues uh, which have been defining the, 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 the nation state for uh, three centuries, it's extraordinarily fast. Uh, so that's the first thing. And the second is the amazing invention of the IPCC, which is an extraordinary uh, clever and complex and disputable, of course, uh, institution to mixed um, uh, and sort of diplomatic aspect and the scientific aspect in a very complex uh, role, which is simultaneously assembling the expertise of all the world uh, scientists and also vetting it, so to speak, for um, diplomatic or political reason, and including, which is one of the great success of the IPCC, the other countries from the South, which often don't have a scientific expertise and yet are very much inside the uh, uh, IPCC. So if there is one institution which is not top down, it's the IPCC. I mean, it gathers the data from all over the world and from, I mean, thousands and thousands of scientists. And of course, uh, the public sphere and the role of the activist in all of the COP is extremely important. So the climate regime, if you can call it that way, the geopolitic is actually um, not top down. It's, uh, if, if it were not for the scientists and the activists, uh, certainly uh, the, the state would do nothing. So it's, it is actually a very interesting, geopolitically it's a very interesting situation. Now, of course, the problem is that the nation state is completely obsolete for that sort of activity. It doesn't fit with the, 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 the task. And uh, the idea of a COP was actually a very simple-minded idea, which never worked, which was to use the model which had been used for the uh, ozone layer and the Montreal Protocol as a format to deal with an issue infinitely more complex. And of course, uh, focusing on the CO2 was not that great idea, because CO2 is the consequence of a <laughs> lot of activities and lots of decisions which are not taken in the COP. Uh, because it's about commerce, or war, uh, industry, uh, and lots of decisions which escape from a COP. But still, geopolitically, the invention of a COP and of the IPCC is an amazing uh, diplomatic invention, and it should be protected and, I think, celebrated in many ways.